Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a disk brake rotor for its model analysis. We are going to use the model module of Answers Workbench. We will start by double clicking on it. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click and insert the geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. We'll first go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. There are other ways of meshing also that is available. You can see here this is a triangular shaped mesh that I can see. If you want, you can go to mesh and right click and insert method. You can select the entire geometry and instead of automatic, you can use hex dominant or you can use tetrahedrons and update if you click on mesh you will see something that we have already created before this by using fine mesh this triangular shaped meshes are nothing but the tetrahedrons next i'll go for model and i'll right click and insert fix support i'll insert fix support on these circles i'll click on control and select the rest of them and apply when we are doing model analysis what we are doing exactly is we are finding out what are the natural frequencies at which the body is going to show a particular type of motion or a vibration type of motion such that we can protect the body by not subjecting the part to that frequency. So if you are aware of this before subjecting it to a certain vibration, you can save the body from resonance which will lead to more wear and tear of these kind of parts. So we will go to solution first and solve. Now I'll go to this place, left click, right click here and select all. Again right click and create more shape results. You can see here the results have been formed. I'll go to solution again and solve. So here you can see these are the various natural frequencies. We have got six of them. When you go to analysis settings, you can see maximum modes to find is 6. If you want, you can reduce it or you can increase the count. That depends on your analysis. I'll leave it to 6 itself, which is the default value of ANSYS. So this is the first deformation. The frequency is 6, 31.61 Hz. You can see the type of motion by animating. So this is how the body is going to move under this type of natural frequency. You can see here the total deformation is 22 mm. Next, I'll go to deformation 2. This is 633.71 hertz. The deformation value is the same, 22 mm. But you can see that the pattern of motion has changed. The direction has basically changed. Next, we'll go to total deformation 3 and animate. The frequency is 854.58 Hz. So this is how it is going to vibrate under this frequency. And the total deformation will be 25 mm maximum over this body. But the values are varying over the different sections. It is just that at a particular section where this color is red. If you click on max spin, you can see at that zone your value is going to be 25. And in rest of the places it is going to be 
different values based on the color. Next, I'll go to total deformation 4. Again, these are the various colors that you obtain and you can read the values over here. Maximum value is 25 mm. The frequency for this is 855.88 Hz. You can animate and check how it is going to vibrate under this natural frequency. Next, we'll go for total deformation 5. The frequency here is 1054.5 Hz. The maximum deformation is 15 mm. You can animate and check how this body is going to vibrate under this frequency. And now we'll check the last one, that is total deformation 6. This is how you are going to see the vibration in this disc rotor at a natural frequency of 1985.8 Hz. The total deformation here is 27.2 mm. So that's how you analyze the various natural frequencies. Lower value is 631.61 Hz. And the maximum value that we have chosen is 1985.8 Hz for the 6th mode. If you want, you can go for even higher modes so that you can figure out what are the higher values. And you need to be aware of this frequency such that you are able to give more life to your disc rotor. And if you subject your disc rotor to this natural frequency, Say the car has a particular natural frequency which matches with one of these higher natural frequencies. What happens is the disc brake will now have resonance and it will vibrate with a lot of oscillation. And over a period of time, the life of your disc brake is going to reduce. So if you want to increase the life, see to it that the disc brake is not subjected to these kind of natural frequencies. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a disc brake rotor for its natural frequencies using the model module of ANSYS Workbench. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.